Gracias. Give me a break. Yeah, hello, hello, good evening. Do you hear me? At this moment, I, I, I can turn on my camera <laughs> because I'm cooking. Oh, yes. <laughs> you told me. You told me, you told me yesterday. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, do you hear me nice and clear, Geraldine? Yes? Yes, teacher. Good oh, evening. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, people. Hello, hello. How are you? You good? It's nice to see you. We have Friday, as you may see, right? So we can rest uh, this weekend. So we can um, have a little of uh, rest. Okay, so welcome. It's, it's nice to have you. One more time, we will continue working. As you may know, uh, which is this module. Uh, this is gonna be class number five, and we're gonna start with the section number three. Time for change. Oh, let me check. I think that one is right, time for change. Yes, okay, that's, that's the one, yeah, time for change. Uh, adjectives and nouns are the ones we're gonna watch today. We're gonna have a little bit of practice on those. Uh, good and evening, teacher. Good evening, Camilo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Can't complain. The weather no. is nice, so that means we got a rainy day today. Yeah, at the beginning it was heavy, right? Real yeah. heavy, yeah. Yeah, so but, I... but it feel a little bit fresh right now. Yeah, somehow, somehow, yes, and here it's okay. It's good. nice to be here. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Nelson. Thank you so much for letting me know, Nelson. So this is going to be the thing we're gonna we're gonna work today. Don't forget that we're gonna have class today and also um, mm -hmm. on Monday. Monday we have classes. Don't forget that as well. Yes. All right. Um. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, the best. And uh, we're going to give them to your classmates a few seconds so they can join. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Patricia? Uh, fine, thank you. I'm here in, Vol in San Salvador Volcano today. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, oh, I'm, my gosh. I'm here. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? What are you, what are you using? Like Tigo or, or, or Digistel? What's that? Like... I don't know. Here they they have a Wi-Fi. So oh, no. yes, I'm in a cabin, in a oh, place yeah, a where I have a lot of cabins here. Oh, yes. How's the weather over there? Um, uh, a little bit fresh. <laughs> Real be. No, no, uh, actually, it's not, it's not uh so cold, oh, okay. but it was it was raining. Heavy, right? Heavy. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's kind of humid, right? So that's. Yes. So you're you're not able to stay out out, I guess. Or you're just in. No, 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 no. I'm I'm in the room. <laughs> what about what, what about the mosquitoes? Uh, no, no, no. There, there isn't. Oh really? No, okay. nothing. No. Yes. So, it's, it's there aren't a lot of mosquitoes. Really nice here. No, no, no. I hear it. There, there is some mosquitoes. Are uh, really nice. The place I, I like it a lot. Is that expensive? Sorry. Is that expensive? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I came invited, <laughs> invited by a oh. cousin. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's even better, right? That's even better. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, so it's the best sure. thing. It's the best. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. Oh, Jesus, give me a break. Oh, my God. Um, give me a minute because um, something happens here and I need to recheck my email so I can get the information. Okay. Because it looks if I. Uh, just give me, give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, 
Okay, just, just give me a minute because I need to I need to get um good information because it looks like something happened to this one. Okay. Sí, pero ya les escribí a los encargados y no me han contestado. No sé si le puedo preguntar después por privado. Oh, what is that about? Que tengo una duda, pero ya me comuniqué con los encargados, pero no me responden. O sea, desde la mañana les estoy escribiendo. No sé si oh, podría comunicarme dígame. con usted. Eh, no sé si le escribo después de la clase. ¿no? Ah. Para oh, sí, que después de la clase voy a otra. Entonces, sí, ah, okay. puede ser que no le conteste, pero si me escribe, con gusto le contesto después de las 10. Yes? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Um, voy, a, voy a hablar en español. Eh, oh. Yo he visto que, que la mayoría ha tenido problema con la plataforma de las ayudas, pero yo tuve también problema pero luego la persona que me inscribió, no, no el, ser, el soporte técnico, sino que la persona que me inscribió me ayudó, uh -huh. porque parece ser que los correos de Hotmail no son compatibles con la plataforma. Entonces, por eso les hablé en inglés, para que todos entendieran por si han tenido problemas, los mismos problemas que yo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es posible, porque ahora ya no tengo problema, me conecta inmediatamente, hasta me pone en el lugar donde lo dejé la vez pasada. Así es que, pues si han tenido problemas, tal vez eh, eh, pueden eh, hablar con la persona que los inscribió, porque él sí me contestó. El, el soporte técnico nunca me contestó. No, igual yo he hablado con la persona que me inscribió, pero no me responde. Um, yes, um, I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about it, okay. Uh, Igual voy a solicitar que, que les apoyen. Si me escriben privado, como dijo su compañera, eh, puedo pues, uh, buscar a otra persona. Acuérdense que pues, hay varios asistiendo ¿verdad? en esos inconvenientes. Entonces, um, me escriben privado y con gusto pues, yo le escribo a otra persona para ver si es lo más pronto posible. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Patricia. That was very nice. Okay, let me take the attendance, please. Um, Alvaro Camilo. Here, teacher. Good night. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Um, Ana Be Beatriz de López. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Good evening. Cesar Aparicio. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Cesar. Nice to have you. Dadwin Blanco. Hello, Dadwin. No, he isn't, right? What about Delmi? Am I, yeah? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Efrain Acevedo. Efrain. Oh, yes, ahorita, ahorita, Emilio, ya lo vi el mensaje, I'm sorry. Ahorita lo vi, okay. Yes, thank you so much. Um, Stephanie Martinez. I'm here. Thank you, welcome, good evening. Uh, Franklin Magaña. Hello, Franklin. No, he isn't. What about Geraldine? Present teacher. Thank you, Geraldine, nice to have you. Heather Tobar. ¿Qué, la, la compañera estaba anunciando por el chat que tenía problemas eh, como que la energía eléctrica en su área está, no, no está llegando el suministro. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. I hope that she can join us later. Uh, mm, dijo que no tenía, no tenía carga. Oh, no. Yeah, but it's of raining, right? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Ingrid Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Irma, segura? Present teacher. Thank you, Irma. Welcome. Nice to have you. Jesus Escobar. Hello, Jesus. No, Jesus today. Okay. Jose. Alejandro Sanchez. Good evening, teacher. Here I am. Perfect. Welcome. Juan David Madrid. 
present teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Welcome. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you one more time. Kevin Flores. Kevin Flores. Kevin Flores, no, he is. Lucia, hello, Lucia. No Lucia today, okay. Melvin, yeah. Ernesto. Yeah. Thank you so much, nice to have you one more time. Eh, Daniela Carranza. Hello, Daniela. No, she is. <laughs> Uh, what about Milagro de La Paz, Jimenez? Here, mister. Thank you, Milagro. That's very good. It's nice to have you. Mirna Landos. Presentation. Thank you, Mirna. Welcome. Nelson is here, but the mic. Patricia Garcia. Patricia Garcia. No, she is. Oh, Present. Patricia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. To do that. Thank you so much. Welcome. Patricia Castellanos. Hi. Perfect. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Thank you. Good to Good evening. Gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Roxana Diaz. Hello, Roxana. Now she isn't. What about Sandra Asensio? Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome. And Sandra Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Let me check. Uh, Daniela Carranz. Ahorita, Daniela, just give me a minute. Okay, okay. Daniela Carranz. Uh, okay. Thank you. And I think I have somebody else. Um, that's, oh, yes, Nelson, you told me already. Probably. Okay. So thank you so much for being here, people. It's, it's nice to see you. Uh, we're going to finish with this week, and we're going to start the section number three, right? Um, and we're going to have the first thing about adjective. We're going to work with these themes. Okay, we have houses and apartments, okay? So mm -hmm. do you live in a house or do you live in a, an apartment? Mm -hmm. I have some adjectives to talk about these things. We have B for positive adjectives and um, N is with negative adjectives, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So Juan Carlos, I'm sorry, Juan David Madrid, please, can you hear me reading? This um adjectives, please, all of them. Thank you. Excuse me, excuse me teacher. I, I I have a problem with my audio. I don't okay. hear it. Okay. Um. Please read read this uh vocabulary here, please. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Bridge, comfortable, convenient, complete, mm -hmm. dangerous, dark. Change, expensive, health, food, inconvenient, mother, noisy, heated, kit, London, safe, small, spicy. Spacious. Spacious. Thank you. We have a spacious. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have these adjectives. Some of them are negative and some of them are positive, right? If you see the picture here, Right, you have this gentleman, and what is this gentleman doing here? Mm -hmm. Anybody, please? He's reading. Really, He's reading, really. really right? Okay, and how does it look? Mm -hmm. Like uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, right? So look at his face, right? He's, he's not comfortable in this one, right? So we have this adjective here to describe the way the area is, right? Where he is right now. We have this adjective. Is that a positive thing or is it a negative thing? It's negative. 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 Thank you so much. That's right, right? It's something negative. As you may know, sometimes maybe at home or maybe at work, we have this kind of adjectives or we have this kind of scenarios 
that sometimes we don't feel like good and sometimes maybe we feel good because that is something positive. So uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna start like, first of all, uh, like checking which adjectives are positive and which ones are negative. Okay, uh, Lucia? Sorry, teacher, what run down means? Oh, run down. Mm -hmm. Anybody can help us with that run down? Like short. Yeah. Excuse me. Run down. What? Like like short. No. No. Run down. Mm -hmm. Run down. No. It's like a falling. Like like falling. Yeah. No. Like like falling. Maybe like when you when you are hit by somebody else or maybe. Yes, or maybe when you're like yeah, like when you are like in the middle of the street and somebody pass by and try to touch you right in a you know, violent way. You know what I mean? Like your hurt shoulders, that's it, right? But if but if we if we are talking about apartment Yes, that's that's the question. Uh, how how this uh, adjective is related with houses and apartments? Oh well, it's it's based on the yeah. right comfortable. Oh, He's I'm reading. Sorry. That was very good. <laughs> yeah, that's why he was good. Yeah, Randall, what do you think this context is about? I saw Randown es como atropellar in, Span in Spanish, right? But That's literally um, right, exactly. I don't but know how to relate come it with, um, with houses and apartments. Uh, well, I think it's when you have like an old thing, an old building. Yes. Como uh, deteriorado. Exactly, right. Well, well, male, uh, exactly, uh, exactly. Ronan? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, does your permit like a mess? Um, no. Yeah, based on the contents, it's like Milano dingy. was saying. Uh -huh. like, like, Deteriorado. Yes, but exactly. dingy, dingy is like como desordenado, right? Yes, dingy is like like that. Sucio? Mm -hmm. Like a very, very. like, uh, not neat, right? The is yeah. not neat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but cool. run down is, is something like uh, when it's like a very old building that nobody wants to live there because of the damage it has, right? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I don't know, like here in El Salvador, and maybe downtown, we can see these kind of buildings, right? If you see downtown mm -hmm. here. Like abandoned? Exactly, right. And But mm -hmm. like here, like in San Jacinto, there is an abandoned building. But there is people okay. still living there. I don't know why they uh, do it. Yes. But yeah. it is supposed to be empty, you know. Uh, because, yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's 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 not. It's not in good conditions. Exactly, like because of this, like earthquakes that we. Uh, uh -huh. It's know. not able to live. Yeah, there. It's, it's not like appropriate for uh, a living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but but there there is still people there, probably like. That's crazy. That's absolutely. I don't okay. know if that's because Thank you. They, they need to live there, but I don't mm -hmm. know. okay. So tell me which adjectives are like positives. Let's begin with positive. Everything is positive. Let's be let's be positive. Okay, which ones are positive? Mm -hmm. Positive. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Uh, this one, right? Positive. Okay, what else? Yeah. Convenient. Convenient is another one. Could be positive. Very good. Right. 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 Yes. Right. If there is like you know, modern. Modern. What is that? Oh, here we have. It. Yes. Right. Maybe modern huge. Value. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that is good. Right. If you have a huge office. Yeah. Or a huge. yeah. Right. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. So we can have a quiet place so we can go to bed anytime right. we can have a rest. Safe. Private. Is private. 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 Yes. yes. I think it's positive too. Right. And expensive as well, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive. 
spacious, spacious. Mm -hmm. spacious. Safe, safe too. Oh, safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safe is another one. Yeah, I think. Expensive, it depends, no? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Los valía. Well, uh -huh. well, 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 it depends. Well, it depends. <laughs> if you have a lot of money, well, it's okay it for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so the rest of them are like the negative, right? Mm -hmm. I guess cramped is a negative thing. Yes. Dangerous. Oh, we know dangerous, right? Dark. Yes. As well, we know dark, dingy. Somebody was talking about dingy. Mm -hmm. Expensive. Yeah. Oh, that one we know that every day, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, at, at least for me, it's, it's negative. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, right? I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. Inconvenience. Inconvenience. Noisy. Yeah. Noisy. Oh, noisy place. Random. Random. Yes. Random. So, okay. Um. Yes, very good. So these are like... Um, adjectives to describe places, let's say like apartments, uh, we can use them to describe offices as well, and houses, right? And buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have this example here. I live in a nice neighborhood. It's safe and it's very convenient. However, the apartment is a little cramped and kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do here? I, as I told you yesterday, uh, because of the level that you have, you gotta you understand so far a, a few things, right? So the idea with these examples is you you can extend the way you communicate an idea. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have mm -hmm. one positive thing, right? And then you have another thing. We have these conjunctions that we can use to uh, make a contrast, right? We have however, right? Also we have buts. Uh, those are like the common ones that we use. Um, so we can use those to, to give like a positive thing, but then we have a negative thing about the place we live. As you may know, not everything is perfect, right? Maybe we have one thing good, but there are also things that are not good. Yes, where we live, right? For example, um, here in San Salvador, everything is very like close, you know, but the traffic is heavy, right? Oh, and yeah. Is is pretty much strong, extremely, extremely. Okay. So you have something positive that where you live, like probably that could be your house, that could be your apartment, and then you can mention like two. Okay, I'm sorry, two positive things and two negative things about your okay. house or apartment. Mm -hmm. Do you do you understand the idea of people at home, Ingrid? Do you understand? Oh, yes. Okay, yes. so I'm going to give you some time so you can think about how you will uh, organize your ideas about the place you live, like your house or your apartment. Yes, and you can communicate like two positive things using one of these adjectives, and you can communicate like two negative things about your house or your apartment. Yes, uh, Ronald, do you understand? Mirna, uh, Cesar, Melvin, <laughs> Lucia. Sandra, do you do you understand what are you going to do? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I will give you three minutes. No, let's say five minutes. I will give you five minutes to think about, or if you want, you can write your sentences in your notebook. Okay, so you can have it clear. Mm -hmm. And then I will hear some comments about it. Okay? Yes? Okay. Again. Uh, you can start, I live in a nice, right? You can start saying the positive things um, and then switch to the negative or you can start with the negative and then you switch to the good things, yeah? Right, so at the end, it's up to you the way you will do it. You can use the conjunctions to communicate the negative, uh, um, let's say, idea about it, okay? Camilo, do you understand? You got it, Camilo? Yes, okay, perfect. Again, I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can do this. And once you're ready, you can raise your hand if you wanna participate, or if not, don't worry, I will pick your name from the list, okay?
Okay, thank you so much. Let's hear a few uh, participations, please. If you're ready, raise your hand so I can hear and you can share your uh, sentences with the rest of the class. Oh, thank you, Milagro de La Paz. Thank you. Okay, I live in a very quiet neighborhood. It is convenient because it's near to downtown nevertheless in my ne my neighborhood is a little bit dingy and food here is expensive almost all the convenience stores are expensive oh thank you so much everything is well done yeah you got it you nailed it okay very good great job thanks sir right. somebody else Somebody else? Thank you, Geraldine. Go ahead. Okay. I live in a nice neighborhood. It's convenient. I have a shopping center, restaurant, and supermarket. Whoever is small and very, no very noisy for the night. At night, right? At night? At night. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great job, Geraldine. Thank you. That was great. Okay, Patricia Esmeralda Garcia, thank you. Okay, I live in a nice neighborhood. It's comfortable and very quiet. However, my house is safe and convenient because I have many places. For example, the A4 and then beaches. <laughs> Sounds good. The vacation is going to be great, right, Patricia? Yeah? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Very good. That's very good. Thank you for sharing that. That was very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lucia, thank you. Thanks. Yes, Lucia? Lucia, do you hear me? Because I don't hear. Like there is, there is nothing coming from your mic. I think you have a can problem. Can you hear me? Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Lucia, now yes. Okay. Um, I live in Chalchuapa City. My neighborhood, it's very quiet now and safe, but the streets are in bad condition for several years. And I am far from the down from the city. Oh, that was very good, right? Yes. <laughs> Pero para cobrar son buenos, right? That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good. Great job. <laughs> Pero, 
se va y regresa, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Así es que tú. <ríe> ok. Uh, Patricia, thank you. Oh, me? Yes, because your mic is on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I, okay. Uh, I, am, I, I don't have paper here, you know, but I, I will try to say you. Okay. Uh, I live in a good neighborhood. I like uh, the place where I live. But, and I live in a house that is comfortable and spacious, um, safe too. But I don't like because uh, my house is mm, it's not as bright as I like. Um, and um, it's a little bit noisy because I live in a main street. Okay. Thank you so much. You nailed it. It was good. Yeah, okay. Patricia. Great job. Thank you so much, people. Uh, we're going to carry on with this thing. Just give me a minute. Okay, um, so we're going to move on to, to something else for today, uh, which is uh, this one. Okay, uh, listen to a family, like, talk about their a new apartment. Which opinions are about the building or of the neighborhood uh, and which are about the apartment? So we're going to work with these two questions, um, okay? Mm -hmm. so I will play the audio so you can listen, and then you can let me know uh, your answers. Unit 3. Making Changes. Page 16. Exercise 2. Perspectives. How's your new apartment? Part A. Listen to a family talk about their new apartment. Which opinions are about the building or the neighborhood? Which are about the apartment? I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we had in our old place. I just can't sleep at night. The neighbors make too much noise. The building isn't as quiet as our old one. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. There aren't enough windows. Our new apartment isn't big enough for our family. We don't have a big kitchen anymore, so cooking is difficult. The location is just as convenient as the old one, but there aren't as many good restaurants around. One more time, the audio? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Sure, perfect. Unit 3. Making Changes. Unit 3. Making Changes. Page 16. Exercise 2. Perspectives. How's your new apartment? Part A. Listen to a family talk about their new apartment. Which opinions are about the building or the neighborhood? Which are about the apartment? I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we had in our old place. I just can't sleep at night. The neighbors make too much noise. The building isn't as quiet as our old one. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. There aren't enough windows. Our new apartment isn't big enough for our family. We don't have a big kitchen anymore, so cooking is difficult. The location is just as convenient as the old one, but there aren't as many good restaurants around. I'm oh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, so here we have these opinions about the different issues, right, that these people are facing. Uh, the number one, uh, what is this thing about? It is about the building or is this about an apartment or is this about neighborhood number one? It's about the apartment. The apartment. It's about the apartment, right? What about number two? It's about the neighborhood. 
is about the neighborhood and also the building at the end the guy mentioned like uh, is in quiet right uh, what about yeah. the number three the apartment. Too, uh, the apartment is too dark. Oh, yes, that's right. And, and there is no talking windows. about the apartment. Exactly, right? Exactly. So we have different areas of different issues that, that we, we live in an apartment. That is true. What about number four? Yeah, we don't have a big kitchen. Yeah, bar. We don't have a big kitchen anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The apartment is too small. Oh, not having a vacation, that's a really huge thing, right? Because, um, yeah, that's not good. Location number five. What is this thing about? About the neighborhood. About the neighborhood, the right? Very good. Okay. Question for you, uh, Camilo. Have, have you ever moved? Have you ever moved, Camilo? Have I you ever moved? Have I ever? Yeah. I don't understand. Like, for example, if you live right now in one in one house, right, and you move to another one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That the question yes. is, have you ever moved? No, I live in the same house that I burned. Oh, burned. that's that's fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. Incredible. I have a the the days of the day I burned. I live in this house. All time. I never moved. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, so yeah. oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's 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 incredible. Like pretty much here yeah. in the Salvador, like oh, that's yeah. incredible. You got it's a, a little bit big. You get four rooms, three baths. So everything is wonderful. Uh, yeah. And got a basketball field. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yeah. Sounds, sounds great. Yeah, yeah so. we had got a entertainment right here. Why movie, right? It's like <laughs> I don't think so because we have it's like the same problem that this family got. I think if I move, it's gonna be a small house, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna feel comfortable. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sandra Asensio? Have you ever moved? <laughs> But for me, I live in a nice neighborhood in this time. Oh. It's safe and very comfortable. Yeah, but the question is like, have you ever moved? Like right now? No, uh, move. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, no, in my case, no. Oh. No, I, I live in a... Uh, I say comfortable house. Sara y Martinez, thank you so much, Sandra. Very good. Sara y Martinez, question for you. Uh, what, for you, what's your opinion? What makes a good neighborhood? Well, I think um, a safe place. Can you hear me? Yeah, nice and clear. Okay, something else that you want to add to your answer? A uh, comfort, comfortable place. Too. When you say comfortable, what do you mean by that? Um, friendly people, maybe. <laughs> no, friendly neighborhood. Friendly neighbors, right? Friendly neighbors. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you. What about you, Ingrid? Uh, the same question to you. What, what do you think? What makes a good neighborhood? The best neighbor for me. No, I mean, what makes a good neighbor good? Uh, like safe. Oh, a safe place? Yes. And a big uh, area. Like big areas. What kind of areas? Like 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 green. Okay, are, are you a mother, Ingrid? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> mothers they always use the phrase safe. Always. They always like, oh, say that's safe. Okay. So that's why I'm asking you. Because I hear like from, another, from mothers, I always hear this 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 term. 
Thank you so much for sharing that. Unit three. We will have this video about the grammar point. Let's listen and watch. <laughs> Hi everyone, by the end of this class you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you will be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. OK. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough and then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here so in this case it happens to be families right so if we look at the pattern we have a subject I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there that's in black there we go so we can see that the subject is apartments then this is followed by the verb to be in this case it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form after that, we're going to have some sort of adjective, and then it's going to follow the word enough, and then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar.
So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families, okay? And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now, using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big. Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That uh, the verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever... Um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are, um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this, I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. 
The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment, depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using noun. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay, so that was like the explanation about how we can do evaluations and also we can make comparisons, right? As you may know, we use the adjectives, right? Uh, compare things. That's what we use. And we, here we use it, this thing, it's verb to be, right? <laughs> yeah, look at this one. Okay, this thing, verb to be is everywhere. Yeah, so you can get sick of it, right? Then you say, oh, no, I won't use verb to be anymore. Yeah, here we have it. <laughs> An intermediate level to talk about when something is like um uh, used to evaluate things and not to compare. Okay. Uh, also, we use this as a word like enough, too much. And here we have the comparison, which is the as many as, right? So um, we have two options. We can use nouns and we can use adjectives. If you see with you have the adjective, you have the adjective here. So that's the difference, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you have the adjective. That's why that's the difference that like you have the adjective here, but here you don't have the adjective. Okay, you have uh, the noun. Okay, nouns like this one, like this one, um, like this one, and like this one. Okay, so these are these are nouns. Basically, here we're just communicating or, or evaluating something or comparing uh, based on the, the uh, nouns that we have. In here, based on the adjective that we have, let's take a look of some examples really quick. Um, let's work with this one. We were working with opposite. We're gonna finish this one really quick. What is the opposite of cramped? What is the opposite of cramped? Any idea? Um, uh, like spacious, 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 spacious. spacious right? Very good. Spacious? Yes. What about dangerous? Safe. 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 Very good. Somebody Safe. was saying like small. 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 Small, right? Yes, very mm -hmm. good. Right? Dark. 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 Exactly. Dark painter. What about number six? All. 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 Right. Yes. All Noisy. Noisy. Exactly. Noisy, right? Here yeah, we have. Expensive. Expensive, right? Everything is expensive, okay? Yes, right. these are like the opposites of this. Okay? So yeah. I'm going to the list this one, and we're going to move on to the next exercise with this this one. We're going to work with enough, okay? Enough comes after the adjective, but before noun, okay? So if you take a look at these examples, we have it isn't as spacious enough, so... You see, enough comes after the adjective. So I can identify A. Aquí tengo un adjective. Pues voy a poner enough here. Isn't, okay? isn't enough. Right. Aquí tengo but otro I'm adjective. Right. So uso enough, enough, where yeah. it goes. But cuando tengo un noun, right, como space, <clears throat> como light, right, mire. Well, what I do is, lo pongo before, before, right? Let's take a look of this one. Uh, number one, the apartment isn't comfortable. Enough. Enough. Very good. What about the number two? Just before or after? They are. It's before or after? Before. before. Oh, she's going to be before, right? So I'm going to write here before. Letter B, that means before. It's not an eight, the number is letter B before. Okay, so I'm gonna use the other one. Let me let me just, okay. So this one is before. Why before? Any idea? 
Yes. Because, because we have bathroom is a noun. Is a noun. Very good. What about the number three? Is not modern enough. So where where do we have enough? After, after or before? After. after, right? Exactly. Because we have an adjective there. Okay. So after. So right after. Yes. So enough goes after. So we can say it's not modern enough. Yes. No. Right. Thank you. What about number four? Before. Before. Okay, so how, how is the sentence? What is how do we have the sentence? There aren't there aren't enough parking spaces. There aren't enough parking spaces. Yeah, very good. Enough parking spaces. So this one is B, right? Very good. Great job. What about the number five? The neighbors doesn't have enough street light. Okay. The neighbor doesn't have too too much. Oh, we're working just with enough, enough right now. Okay. So it's, oh, it's the so neighbor doesn't have street lights enough. Enough. After. No. Okay. After. The neighborhood doesn't have street lights enough. No. After. No? After. No. The neighborhood before. doesn't have street light. No. Before. Yeah. Have enough enough street lights. Yes, yeah, no. enough street lights. Street lights, very good. So that we have it before. Very good. Before, yes. yes. Before. Yes, very good. What about the number six? They are not enough. 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 Or after. After. Before. They are. Enough. Before. Before. There aren't Closet. enough closets. Enough closets. No. Before. Exactly. So we have before, right? Oh. Before the noun. Before the noun. Very good. Okay. Private enough. What about the number seven? Private. After. 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 It's not enough. private After. enough. It's not. Okay. not private enough. So it's not private enough. So we're mm -hmm. going to have after, right? So this is mm -hmm. the adjective. Yes. The living room is in space. Mm -hmm. So which one is is before or after? After. The living room after. is in the spaces. It's, it's not. After. Yes. After. It's after. Very good. So the, the basic thing here is to identify, oh, that is an, that is an adjective, right? So we, yes. can, so we can figure it out. Oh, if that is an adjective, it comes after the adjective. But if that is a, mm -hmm. a noun, it comes before, right? So so this is the way you can use it, right? Yeah. When we have it up, okay? So I think yeah. the time is, is almost over. Uh, don't forget, don't forget that. Thank you so much for your participation. Don't forget, uh, Merin Daniela. Yes, I'm sorry, Merin, no problem, okay? I understand the issue. Don't forget that on Monday we have classes, right? At the same yes. time, for el mismo canal, a la misma hora. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> we have classes at okay. one. Yes. So if you go to the camera on, yeah, from there, get into soon and, and get your classes, right? Okay. Okay. So okay. thank you so much, thank people. You. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Have a good night. See you See Monday. Good night, everybody. See you have Monday. a weekend. Nice weekend. See you everybody. Monday. Perfect. Uh, thanks. Have a, have a nice the same weekend. Same for you.